hello you guys welcome back to my channel my name is china if you are new and if you're not thank you so much for coming back so um i have been getting like so many questions about like the vending machine business so i wanted to go ahead and like make a video about it because everyone been asking me about it so um make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i really would appreciate it and i am pushing to 20k so yeah, let's just jump right in so um i wrote down um 10 things that i want to let you guys know about it um basically giving you some advice and basically updating um the video because you guys know that i already made a video which it will be linked down below but i had already made like a video about how i started the vending machine business so um i bought the vending machines january or february it was like january 15th february 15th um so i just wanted to go ahead and update you guys so the first thing is you have to have a business bank account um you have to have a business bank account and once you get like the machine through you if you want the credit card swipes um so you have to sign up for NIAX, which I will have that link down below as well. But you have to sign up through NIAX to get your credit card um, money. And um, for you to sign up for NIAX, you have to have a business bank account. That's what I mean. But if you don't have the credit card swipe, which I would suggest you get a credit card swipe because not everyone carries cash around. It's 2022. So um, and it is $50 a month. Um niax have a niax so they take that you don't pay it you pay it from your vending machine so they basically take it out of like one of your checks um so yeah you have to have a business bank account to get niax um and you also have to have like paperwork showing that it's your machine so i would suggest if you buying a machine from someone make sure you have it on like paper that you own the machines because they ask for documents um for that and also for yourself you should want to have like a paper sign these machines are mine um because again it's 2022 and you rather be safe than sorry <laughs> so number two um i bought my machines on offer up um i bought them for ten thousand dollars for five machines um and then also i don't have any contracts with none of where my machines are at they are located inside of corporate offices so um i'm not on any contract i don't pay a commission any of that which is the best because everything is mine um i bought mine on offer up but it's facebook marketplace ebay uh i don't know about craigslist i never shop on craigslist because of like reviews and all of that but there's places that you can um go other than offer up but my transaction everything was easy so um that was my first time ever buying anything on offer up so i bought mine on offer up and i spent ten thousand dollars cash but i told you guys in the last video that i actually me and the guy went to my bank and um i got the paper notarized my contract showing that these are my machines and me and him sat there with the accountant and we both signed the papers and the accountant watched me give him the money. I wanted it done like that because he got his ID, his information just in case like he was trying to get over on me. There's people that try to get over on people. So I got everything down on paper. I still have my contracts. The banks has a copy of it. I got it notarized. So the next thing is where I shop at. I shop at Sam's Club. Um you can get like a um membership through sam's club I buy the stuff in box like because one of those big bags of chips i think it has 50 chips inside of it and it's like 18 dollars, and some of them are even 16 dollars. so just imagine um a 50 box of chips and you're selling them for a dollar a bag of chips that's 50 dollars, and you only bought it for 18 dollars also i go to sam's club every i mean i go to sam's club a day before i go to my machines um to get everything because i don't want to do everything in one day so i go to sam's club a day before i go to my machines um i go to my machines two times a month every other week 
um, because that's just the routine that I have. Not saying that you will go that much or that less is me, but um, I only have to go um, every other week. I used to go every week, but I felt like it was pointless. The longer you wait, the more money you get out, but you don't want them to be like empty. You want it to always have stuff in it. So you need to like choose your days and stick with it. So, so I get paid every Friday. Um, it goes to my business bank account. So like it's usually like Thursday around 4 a.m. That's why I say Friday because it's basically Friday. But I get paid every Friday. And like I said, it automatically goes to my business bank account um, from NIAX. But like I said before, they also take $50 out a month just one time, not each machine. So um, they basically charge me $50 a month for using, you know, their company to swipe my card, swipe cards. Okay. So I also feel like location is everything. Location is number one. And I feel like you should ask, at least if you could see like the sales, you should ask like, okay, can I see your, can you print out something to wear or show me your NIAX account to show me how much you are making? Because they can do that. And I feel like I made a mistake because I did not do that. I took his word for it. Um, Uncle Rob did ask him if he could see the papers and the guy did say yes, but he didn't end up showing us the paper. But um, I messed up by not seeing at least the paper to see how much money that I will be making um, because of how much he made. So make sure you ask because they can give you that. They can give you a printout on how much they've made uh, every month and you can see that. You can see how much you make every day. You could go on your NIAX account and see right now um, that your car, that a car was swiped or how much money in cash you've made. Like you can see all of that on your NIAX account. So yeah, like I said, location is everything. Location is number one because if you get a great location, you can literally make a hell of a lot of money. So um, like schools, laundromats, stuff like that, that people are just like the laundromat people are coming in all throughout the day to wash clothes and they always have like coins and they always bring their kids. So I feel like a laundromat in a school is like number one, a school definitely because teenagers always want snacks. They always want, um, cause when I used to go to school, um, for like my GED, I used to get a snack and a drink every single day. I used to get a brisk iced tea and, um, some cookies they had like strawberry uh filling in it i used to get those every single day that i went to school so uh so you have to be creative um and what i mean by that like i buy um like pepsi i buy like flavor pepsi or flavor mountain dew i might buy like you know those crazy at Publix. that's where i get my stuff from my drinks from because they have like different type of drinks that Sam's Club don't have. Sam's Club just have Pepsi, Coke, Mountain Dew, stuff like that. Pep, uh, Publix, they have like the Pepsi, different type of flavors, um, stuff that won't be around uh, the next season, like it's just seasonal. Those are like the best because I always sell all of stuff like that. Like I think I wanna fill up my whole machine with just drinks like that because all those drinks every time I go to my machines are all gone. The drinks that's just not regular Pepsi, different flavors and different types. Um, Pepsi, Coke, whatever, they love it. Versus the regular Coke, the regular Pepsi, they buy that but it's never sold out like the exclusive drinks. Do I feel like it's worth it? Absolutely. I definitely feel like it's worth it because at the end of the day, you are making money while you are asleep passive income and you're not having to do much at all like you're literally sitting you're literally going maybe it depending on how many machines you have for me i have five machines it take me a good two to four hours to lit to finish all of my machines because of i have to carry the stuff upstairs on in a wagon and you know i have to load the stuff up but that's around two to four hours with all of my machines combined together. 
again i have five machines i have one combo machine two drink machines and two snack machines so yeah i wish that i picked better locations but i'm learning so basically what i mean by that is one of my locations i barely make really anything like i make a little bit of money but i don't make what i feel like my other machines make and i feel like that's why i'm not making as much as i anticipated because of that those two machines they are inside of an office together and they don't do that well like when i go pick up money i don't pick up a lot of money from those like how i pick up from my other two so i feel like my other two locations are holding the weight for that one um so i wish that i would have had a better location for that one um to at least make as much as the other ones and then i will be satisfied but um, i'm trying to like see if maybe it's the season or i don't know um and then i feel like i'm not in a contract i'm not paying anyone so it's kind of like do i want to move these machines somewhere else um or do i just want to keep them here and you know Cause I'm not, it's not like I'm losing all the money because people are buying stuff, but it's a lot slower than my other three machines. Like I said, I'm learning. That's why I say location is everything because I am learning. Okay. Oh, the last question I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys how much I make a month off of all five machines. Um, I'm not going to say an exact number, but I'll do like in between and you guys can figure it out. <laughs> okay. So I make around six hundred to a thousand dollars a month. That's what all five machines combine. And like I told you guys, if my other two machines were making as much as my other ones, then I know that it would be a greater number. But um, I'm still very grateful because at the end of the day, like I said, it's passive income. Um, I know there's people that's making a lot more than I'm making because of their location is great. But at the end of the day, I'm happy where I'm at, and I feel like. You know, I'm making money while I'm asleep. Every single day, credit cards are swiping. Every single day. So, I'm still making money and not having to do much other than go to the grocery store. Like, I normally go to the grocery store and load the stuff up. Um, and sometimes, I barely have to go to the grocery store because I have a lot of this stuff inside of my garage. So, um, it's just time for me to stock up again. Yeah, so I make around in between $600 to $1,000 a month. And then also what I can say is, I told you guys, three of my drinks in my machine is not working. So um, I I asked, I reached out to a vending machine company and asked if they can go fix it. And they were charging me $150 just to go. And then if they needed any tools or anything to buy, then I would have to buy, pay for it. But um. They have not reached out to me to call me and let me know that if they have went or not. And I go back to my machines this week. They told me they already had the keys because of they've already been working with the guy, the previous guy who owned them. So I don't know. Um, they have not reached back out to me to let me know. But I feel like once they fix those drinks um, on my machine, which is three. And that's like, you got to understand, that's three whole rolls. So like Coke, ginger ale and Mountain Dew basically so i'm losing out on like probably another 60 dollars um so i feel like that plays another role and then i need to get my prices changed because the previous owner was like for a whole top roll it was it's saying two dollars nobody's going to buy anything for two dollars so i'm losing out on money because of a whole top row is two dollars versus one dollar and then i can sell chips there but i can't sell chips there for two dollars so that's on all of my snack machines to be honest how he got a price so on all of my snack machines i'm losing out on money on the first whole row so yeah um if you guys have any more questions please leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and join the family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.